Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers review. Now we don't very often do repaints and review of repaint figures, but when I do they are absolutely glorious repaints like this, the Black Knight Optimus Prime redeco from Transformers for the movie. This is a movie advanced figure and features a convertible face, the Sword of Nemesis and a sphere shield. Hmm, just reading the bio there, apparently his uh, nemesis sword can reverse time. Well, that's handy. This can transform in 18 steps and is brought to you by Takara Tomy. Enough about the packaging, let's crack him open. Here he is out of the box in all his glory. He looks phenomenal. Now obviously he is just a repaint of the original Takara Advanced Movie Edition of Optimus Prime, which again in itself was a repaint and remold of the Hasbro US release of the mold. Uh, it's a fantastic mold, I've always liked it. But I've always preferred what Takara did with it, with the improvements on the chest detailing, uh, the head with the reversible faceplate, and the fact that they coloured up the weapons and that differently as well. It really added something to it. I mean, just take a closer look at that sculpt. That's absolutely incredible. And I really do think the colours they've used with this uh, Nemesis uh, version really, really do set off and highlight some of that really intricate detailing. I mean, the face itself is a very, very good strong likeness to the movie version of Optimus Prime. The eyes sunken in there with the red retinas there. Got that lovely kind of unmasked face. And of course there is the option to flip the head up and then rotate the masked face down and then bring this section back down and tab that in and look at that. That is incredible. That's how I'm going to have him displayed. That is my Black Knight Optimus Prime. Now as far as the Nemesis sword go, some really, really nice, bold, almost electric blue on there. And some really nice detailing all the way throughout that entire blade. Really, really pulled out by the fact they've turned the blade red. And it's the same story with the shield, using this nice red translucent plastic, and they've highlighted all the detailing. It's a really great use of the silvers and the blacks. It really does make such a difference, doesn't it? It really does make it look, I don't know, I guess more professional. Just taking a closer look at all of this detail work on the chest here, impeccable paint applications. They're absolutely sublime. And that carries on throughout the entire figure going all the way through the thighs with the piped out blue sections there. And then we get down to all the deco on the legs and the feet. It honestly reminds me very much of the Alternators. I think it was 2006, wasn't it? San Diego Comic-Con Alternators uh, Nemesis Prime, I think it was. Yeah, definitely really reminds me of him. With a fantastic range of articulation, he does also have the ability to get a very, very kind of medieval knight-like pose, but gripping his sword by the hilt in both hands. Speaking of articulation, let's take a look at what Prime can actually do. The head can do a full 360. It can also rock forwards this much and upwards that much. And of course, we already know about the reversible faceplate. The shoulder pads are on a hinge. So they come out of the way and are also hinged at the top as well. So there should be no hindrance when we move the arms. The arms themselves are on a butterfly joint, so they can come forwards and back. They're on a nice soft ratchet, so we get full range of motion there. We have a swivel at the elbow. We have a nice deep bend at the elbow. We also have rotation on the wrist, and we have that thumb that locks in and out of place to secure his weapons. To access the waist swivel, just lift up his front skirt so we can see what's going on under there. There is a waist swivel, it does rotate. It's a little bit hindered by these back skirt sections, uh, but obviously you can rotate and adjust those accordingly so you can still get some really good striking poses. 
lovely ratchet on there. the legs there. It goes forward that much. Backwards, we are somewhat hindered by the back kibble. It does come all the way out for the Van Damme splits. There's an upper thigh rotation. A lovely deep bend ratcheting joint at the knee. And the foot, they are on a rocker as well as up and down motion on the toe. So we can get some fairly deep ankle pivoting. Overall for the bot mode, I'm actually genuinely impressed by the overall look, the high levels of detailing, the impeccable paint applications, and the fact that it's a black Optimus Prime. They look fantastic. I know there's people out there that just collect the black primes and the black perceptors, all, all the kind of the blacked out repaints. And this has got to be a must, surely. This is stunning. Now, I've never been a really big movie collector, so I don't have that many figures to compare them to size-wise. So here he is with the KO oversized version of uh, the movie for a lockdown. And of course, we also have the Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime in the back there. That was when leaders were a good, good size. I mean, this guy does still kind of class as a leader, I believe but is what we used to get with the Ultra class, that sort of scale. It's still a leader in his own right, and technically he's got the engineering, the deco, and the price tag to warrant him being a leader figure, but he is a little bit short when it comes to his scale in comparison to the older Revenge of the Fallen line. Or how I'm probably going to play it is uh, Megatron is continuity hopping and recruiting people to oppose the Optimus Prime in the G1 continuity. And he just so happens to have stumbled across a space-driven Optimus Prime in search of his creator. Now, I know I'm coming across as a bit of a fanboy, but I really do love this mold. The Black Knight Optimus Prime has to be the very best interpretation of this mold to date. It is glorious. It really is. I mean, even to the fact we can store his sword on his back, and he's just got that really great kind of buff look to his upper body, yet that sleek design of the truck mode is really well hidden. Yes, we have this big back kibble section on here, but I can forgive that because it looks so sexy. It really does. Right, to get Optimus transformed into his truck mode, it's fairly simple, it's very straightforward. Remove the sword from the back there. You want to lift up this chest section and just raise that up. I mean, even the levels of detailing underneath the chest section with all those cogs and gears. Impeccable, impeccable paint applications. You want to lift up his crotch piece, come around to the feet sections, and what you want to do, you want to rotate the tyres around like so, do that on both sides, rotate the tyres around to this position, and then you want to fold those feet into the cab sections. Rotate Optimus Prime's waist by gripping his groin, and then you want to rotate this panel around to this position, and then slide this section down and tab that in like so. Let's do that with this side. Let's rotate this cab section around like so and rotate this section down like this and then tab those together like so and like so. You want to bend Prime's waist forward, which rocks this whole section up here. Then you want to rotate these shoulder pad sections. They are going to come up and around. They're going to tab together, like so. And then that is going to rock backwards. And just pushing down on the head, hides that out of the way, like that. Bring Prime's arms using that chest butterfly joint. Bring those in and bend the elbows up to that position. Come round to this back tab section and you want to slide it. So this whole section here slides up out of the way. And we're going to bring this whole section down. And as you bring that down, 
this tank opens up, you flip this section around, this is going to tab into itself, like so, and then as you bring this round, these are now all going to tab and line up, the foot plate rolls round, this section now flips up, these are going to tab in behind here, and then we can bring this roof section down, and just tab that into place. Come round to the sword holder, just flip that open, rotate that back round, and that is going to tab in underneath. That then means we can then bring the sword back in and just holster that accordingly, like so. Now we can come round to the back here, and we can just plug the shield into the fifth wheel section of the truck. And here he is in his truck mode. Glorious. That's the best way of describing it. It looks fantastic. You've got your Western Star logo scattered out amongst it. The front looks absolutely incredible, albeit it now loitered with my fingerprints. Really love the translucent orange uh, they've used on the windscreen and the side windows. And the paint applications are impeccable. They really, really are. It's just a really really nice alt mode. I really didn't see myself liking any of the Bayverse figures again, uh, but Takara have kind of pulled it off. You've got a rubbery, uh, I'm not sure if it's a rubber or a very soft plastic that they've uh, used on the actual wheels themselves, but obviously they've painted the chromed up rims there. You've got the Western Star logo on the foot plate. Western style on the back of the cab there. I uh, got those chrome kind of exhaust sections there. The exhausts at the back again, nice and shiny, nice kind of gunmetalish silver used there. Uh, no lights or anything on the back of the truck. Maybe could have done with some painting on the back there. Maybe some stickers. I'm not sure, but all in all, it's a remarkably nice, well balanced truck mode that rolls. Here he is alongside some of my Masterpiece figures. Uh, I think he fits in exceptionally well. I mean, I'm not sure whether a flat nose truck, whether that scales exactly right. I'm not, I don't know, but in my opinion, looking at it, I think they look really good together. And here he is with some of the Masterpiece humans. Again, I think this is a scale which really does work. So, final thoughts. All in all, it's a very, very good figure. Takara Tomi have done it again. They've taken what was in essence an okay design, given it some modification, then released it again in an amazing paint scheme and made me buy it. <laughs> it's a good product, it's good value for money. In comparison to some of the other products you get for that sort of price, I think, uh, comparatively speaking, you could get a Voyager maybe from a third party. Uh, you can get this, which is in essence a very highly detailed leader figure from an established Takara Tomy. If you found this video useful, feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, you can save yourself $5 on all purchases over the value of $55 by simply putting Ben C5 in at the checkout over at tfdirect.com. Until next time, from myself and the Black Knight Optimus Prime, thanks for watching. Goodbye.